386 volts. This is how many volts you need to run a Tesla motor. This is because Tesla motors are AC versus DC, like most of the other electric motors that are on the market. And this is also why Tesla motors are so much more powerful and Teslas are so much faster than other electric vehicles and why we selected a Tesla for our EV swap. To operate the Tesla, we need to wire together 16 batteries. Each battery has 444 cells for a total of over 7,000 cells in all. To get the batteries to work, Dan and I have to wire each battery to the battery management system individually. That's what we're doing with these small wires. To communicate to the batteries, we need to use battery management cards that we got from Zero EV. Each of these cards requires seven wires to each plug. The small wires are all low voltage that connect back to a centralized loom and then to the battery management system itself. We're creating the high voltage wires ourselves using zero gauge wire and end links and a heavy duty crimping tool. These wires run through a series of fuses and safety switches and some creative boxes that Dan custom printed with his 3D printer in what he calls the laboratory. Batteries this size could be very dangerous considering each battery is 22 volts and together will produce over 355 volts. Think of volts as the force that makes the electricity move. Like in a hose, the voltage is the pressure in the hose. Even if the nozzle is turned off, there's still pressure inside the hose. So in relationship to electricity, if you switch off the light, the voltage is still in the energized part of the circuit behind the light switch. Now watts, on the other hand, is the method of which we measure the rate of the energy transfer. And this is important because your power that you get from your Tesla motor directly comes from how fast your batteries can discharge the watts. So a watt is like spraying the water from the hose into the bucket. So it's the measure of how fast the bucket actually fills up with water. For instance, the new Tesla Plaid can discharge the watts in the batteries much faster than an 85D, making it much more powerful and faster off the line. Our Tesla batteries have 85 kilowatt hours. A kilowatt hour is a way to measure how much energy you're using. It's not the number of kilowatts you're using in an hour, even though it seems to make sense that way. A kilowatt hour equals the amount of energy you would use by keeping a thousand watt appliance running for an hour. For instance, if you turn on a hundred watt light bulb, it would take 10 hours to use one kilowatt of energy. A 2000 watt appliance, on the other hand, would only take a half an hour. This is exactly why the range of your electric car is dependent on how hard you're driving it or how much energy you're pushing out at one time because you're increasing the kilowatts per hour. In order for us to get the maximum power, Dan has to wire all the batteries in series. So you see here, he's connecting one positive to the other battery's negative, positive to negative, positive to negative. Now we're gonna run our batteries in three separate battery boxes. So the large cable that is running across is connecting from one battery box to the next. Then the battery boxes will be installed, two in the rear of the car, and one in the front, in front of the motor. By wiring it this way, we should be able to get about 600 horsepower and 1,000 pound-feet of torque from our Revolt modified Tesla motor. However, if we changed our batteries to batteries with a higher discharge rate, we could actually get our motor upwards of 1,000 horsepower. Let's watch Dan run his final test. All right, we got positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. All right, we're over here. Wires. Negative. Through the fuse, through the switch to positive, negative, positive, negative, positive. 
negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, I'm sorry, negative, positive, positive, negative, positive, or negative, to positive, to negative, positive, to negative, to positive, to negative. Okay, I think we're in sequence. Put the switch. Everything's connected. Both batteries. So what's it supposed to do? Tell us the voltage, uh, about 355 volts. Okay. With them all and, connected together. And that's enough to do what? Uh, stroll down the street. 386 volts. Nice. 386. And see if I do one battery here. It's 23 volts. So serialize them. 386. Awesome. <laughs> nice. Stay tuned because we're getting ready to install the batteries in the car.